also briefly I kind of want to explain like why I kind of got back into running and why I think running is more important not more important but important when your workouts it's kind of like a side note because honestly um I ran in high school got back into it during like when quarantine happened now I'm running six you know seven miles a day I think the most important part most important part about running god I cannot talk right now and the big benefit of it is that it's good for your heart it's good for the like plasticity of your heart your heart is constantly stressing stretching so it gets bigger it's able to pump blood more efficiently um lowers heart pressure um lowers you know your uh your the hypertension things like that uh good with blood flow i feel significantly better running i'm sorry i can't explain this right now as scientific because my brain's still waking up i feel so much better running every day than i did just lifting there's a definitely distance between a difference between a, a, a power lifter bodybuilder's heart and a runner's heart um having a low resting heart rate so you don't get as stressed out as easy during situations i know that myself now whenever i have like to talk in front of people you know my heart rate's so low never starts beating fast it's not really fast for the average person so like little things like that but i really think that doing some type of cardio you know four or five days a week definitely helps your heart helps your blood pressure you know keeps fat down you know all that stuff i don't know why i isn't stressed enough doing like like either high levels of cardio or doing long durations of cardio and also at the runners how do you get and I get it, you know, and not everyone can take the running every day that pounds your knees because running on the concrete does not feel good at all. So this is why Saturday I come to this trail because it's like crushing limestone and it feels better for your knees. But even just like cycling, like there's so many things you can do like aimlessly that, that it's good for your brain. I'm able to think a lot whenever I run. It's like my form of meditation. Because that's a big thing too now. You kind of got to be sitting with yourself and running does that for me. I'm able to concentrate, think about, you know, what I need to do for the day. And also, if you're trying to like lose weight, fast cardio is one of the best ways to do that. I don't know why like intermittent fasting isn't stretch, you know, stressed as it should be. It's, it, it's a great you know tool to have in your arsenal to help to help curb hunger for cur, curb Jesus hunger for one and two. Um, it's like a mental game. You're like playing it yourself. You can like fast for 12 hours. You can see like you'll notice that food doesn't control you. you control food i think that's the biggest problem that people you know they their food controls them like the other way around like i can fast from we're 12 to 24 hours i've done it and honestly it's not that bad if you have water green tea sparkling water it makes everything help whenever i run in the morning there's no calories in me i usually have like a coffee or like water okay or an occasional liquid IV, which has like 15 calories and at that point you know the amount i'm burning that's that's still nothing so that's kind of the main reason why i think cardio it should be stressed is super important um you know, you want to get better at running, you want to start running or do type of cardio, find something low impact first. If you haven't ran in forever, there's no point of you doing like a cardio workout that's going to kill your knees. So start low, start with cycling, start with swimming, um, walking, hiking. Hiking is one of the best things to do. I love hiking. I take my wife and my dogs there all the time. Start with something like that. So, you know, do a couple, couple miles a week. Um, if you're doing like, you know, a run, do like a walk run. Do like run for a half a mile, walk a half a mile, and do do that two or three two or three times. So you want to start with at least you know two miles to start, um, and then after you start losing weight and you feel less stressed on your knees, then move to more of a uh, you know running more. So you want to start with 50-50, then move to 75-25, and then go in 100% the whole way. So it's kind of the easy way to kind of break it up. There wasn't a lot of coherence in like this video and what I need to say, but I think that we should definitely stress cardio more. And it, you really don't lose your, uh, you know, if you're, you know, a lifter, like, yeah, you lose weight, but like, I really haven't lost, quote unquote, like, you know, my gains. I'm still able to keep like my strength up. Um, I'm still squatting heavy. I'm still bench pressing heavy. Uh, you know, when I really bench press, dumbbell bench press heavy, uh, kettlebell presses, I can still press an 80 or 95 pound kettlebell. Really, that's the change. I went from you know, before, you know, COVID started, I was at like, when I was at my lifting prime, I was like 225 and now I'm at 185 and I cut a lot of fat off and also I regained a lot of my strength. So I don't really believe in the notion that, you know, doing a lot of cardio, you lose a lot of your strength and it's a bunch of BS. Um, if you're not doing it the right way, if you're keeping your protein intake high, 
it definitely can help, but you need a lot of protein as a runner. Um, it's kind of like, you know, one thing that we don't talk about as well is your protein intake. That's important when it comes to running. But I think, you know, there's a, there's a great benefit of doing cardio. Um, I enjoy it personally. I know if you don't enjoy it, find a form you do like to enjoy. Cycling's a big one. I know a lot of people enjoy that or getting a bike or if you have a dog, if you have a dog, there's no reason why you couldn't get cardio done in anyway. You know, take your dog on a couple mile walks. It makes everything a lot easier. So we're at the trail right now. We're about to get uh, our uh, six to seven miles in. Um, get your cardio in. Get that heart pumping. Start feeling good. Um, and then I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.